All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are out. It's a pretty day. So I'm going to go over some things about the car and go over some of the winterizing things that I do as well to help prepare the car for winter. We've had our first snow now, so we're uh, getting ready for some more cold weather. It happens to be a beautiful day out there. So I went ahead and uh, decided to do another video for you guys and get a few things dressed up here with the car. So let's take a look at things and let's start from the beginning. All right, this is going to be a true cold start. The car has sat here for over a month. I've got my keys here we talked about in a previous video. And I'm just going to follow the pro process that we went through before. I'm going to come over here, pop that door, and I'm going to make sure the car is in neutral. I'm going to stick my key in here. Turn the key on, and we're going to fill the lines up with gasoline using that long lever at the bottom. You can see them begin to fill there. You can see the gas, and you can hear the pump going. Fill them up a little bit there. All right, that's good enough for now. We're going to turn the key off here. I'm going to pull it out for safety. We don't want to leave the key running at any time. And I'm going to take, I'm going to tap these carburetors here and make sure the fuel moves up in these bowls. Goes ahead and fills them up, but doesn't overfill them. We don't want the floats to stick and them to begin leaking. So they look good for right now. I think everything looks good to me. So for right, for the next couple minutes while we're waiting here, I'm going to always wait a few minutes and let the carb sit for a bit before I go ahead and start the car up. We can check the oil. I've already done that, so we'll skip that for this moment here. Uh, we're going to go over, let's do some winterizing stuff that I do. Number one, I make sure these old bias ply tires are aired up to about 27 pounds each. Believe it or not, that's actually quite a bit for these guys. I believe the max PSI listed on these tires is somewhere around 34, 32 PSI. It's really crazy. They ran a lot lower pressure back in the days than they do now. So for gasoline, I use only ethanol-free premium gasoline. I put it in here in the trunk. It's very hard to fill. It's a very difficult to fill tank because it's a, a small flat one. It only holds, only holds maybe about 10 gallons, so it's pretty small. Over here you see two back in there underneath the Rochester carburetor parts service. You can see uh, two green gas cans. Those are modern ones that I purchased a few years ago, and I keep ethanol-free premium gasoline in there as high test as I can get. That's around 91 octane, I think. My, the ones I get blended from race fuel, so it's actually higher octane than that. It's probably closer to 95. And I add the prescribed amount of stable. You can see it right here. I add the prescribed amount of that. And I generally only let my gas sit around for about six months. I try to use it within that time period. Otherwise, it states it's good for up to two years. Here you can see I've added my... Uh, calendar there for uh, January of 1962. There's uh, three of my buddies that have passed that have helped me with the car. Uh, Devin's in the middle. He actually never knew the car. Uh, and actually Dave Kelsey's at the top and Brad is at the bottom. He helped me a lot with the car. And you can see here getting ready to start the car. I have an Amorex, a Halcyon, I believe that's what it's called. A Halotron, Halotron fire extinguisher. And those are the best. Those are what they call NASCAR quality uh, fire extinguishers. And they will put out the engine fire rather quickly without destroying the engine. Because you have all of the sediment that develops from a standard fire extinguisher that can ruin a motor. You'll, it, you'll end up having a rebuild even after a small fire. And we definitely don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And we've talked about our things for airing up the tires the quality of the gas and then also I try to start the car about uh, once a month or so once every two months just to make sure that it's uh, it's ran and it's still happy and everything's good and I let it run for about a minimum of 10-15 minutes to let it warm up but uh, let's go ahead and let's give her a start here now remember this is completely cold from sitting so it's going to take a bit of cranking to get her started this time so we're Put our key, turn our key on, make sure she's in neutral here, and we're going to fire her up. Now remember, this is going to take a bit of starting. 
give it some cranks there, get some pressure up, pressure up to the wall pump a little bit. Make sure those guys are good. Normally I do add some lubricant there to help that get started easier. Let's see what we got here. Nothing so far. I'm going to step into the car here. You can see my gauge is there. Sorry for all the bright lights. And we're going to give her a start here. I'm going to pump the throttle some. Here we go. Alive. We look at uh, amps good, oil pressure's not bad, RPMs are looking pretty good, about eight, nine, seven, eight hundred. See our vacuum's all right, you can see our temp gauge there, and our fuel pressure's not too bad, about around three pounds. Just give her a little bit here, let her get warmed up. I'm going to step out. You can see the car idling pretty good there. You see the fuel running pretty good. Not too bad, not too shabby. Let's step around here and let's take a look. We have uh, no smoke coming out of the car. That's not too bad. We have a little bit of humidity, so we're going to have a little bit of moisture coming out of the exhaust, but that's not too bad. Looking pretty good. I'm going to step around here. I'm going to take a look at the front of the car. All idling up and getting ready for a little warm-up here on this nice and sunny day. Well, I really appreciate y'all coming around and taking a look. Y'all really make me happy, and I am super, super thankful for y'all taking a look out and y'all watching my videos. Y'all have a great one and thank you so much. Bye-bye.